Hello, my name is Nusen Barafia. And I am Prince Macau. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Ken Chrysler here. Yes, um, Prince Macau, Ken Chrysler has a shot tonight at being in the uh, Money in the Bank. Of course, he is number one out of ten men for this Royal Rumble. Whoever wins this match will be the sixth man that is allowed in Money in the Bank. Yeah, we haven't tallied up all the votes um, doing this uh, recording right now, but two others will also join the six man as well. And let me just go ahead and tell you this, Newsom Braffia, it will not be Ken Chrysler. He has the odds against him. And let me introduce you to my big brother, my partner in crime, mentally sinister. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes. There we go. He's got fallout on his shirt, and he's ready for battle. Yes, he's a very good competitor, Macau. And let me also remind you all, this is half uh, Macau's created people and half the community creation. So it's actually community creations versus Macau's created people. It is indeed. And um, I have faith in Mentally Sinister to take out Ken Chrysler. But King Chrysler already starting off good. Um, he's definitely fit for the match. He's been training a little bit. He's trying to become a, a WWE superstar. Yeah, he's trying and he's absolutely failing. Look at him running. Running around the ring like a little pansy. <laughs> yeah, look there, kid. He's, he's, he's beating up your boy. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm the cow. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You, you guys you guys have almost the same voice. It's it's very weird. It is weird, isn't it? Um, and here comes uh, Mentally Sinister trying to fight off uh, Ken Chrysler. Nice move there. And number three will be The Flash. Yeah, you, uh, you have said that The Flash has done a very good job on this channel. He has. He's, he's done a pretty good job. Um, had a good night on uh, DC Universe night. It was pretty incredible there. Um, I'm going to give him more opportunities. I, I want to see what he can do. And Mentally Sinister just destroying Ken Chrysler. His little strategy, strategies aren't going to work tonight. Hide, look, he's hiding already. Hiding on the turnbuckle while the other two fight. It's not going to work. Trust me. You can hide up there all you want, Ken. It's not going to work. <laughs> and Ken said he was going to hide. He said he was going to avoid... Of fierce competitors as well as Henry the Hideous and Nemesis and Batman. And look at Mentally Sinister. That's what you get, Ken. You think you can hide? You think you can hide from us? Really? You're in plain sight and now you're in big doo-doo. That's right, uh, Macau. Henry the Hideous is definitely a dangerous comp uh, opponent here. Yeah, trust me. He, he had uh, he was one of the ones responsible for getting you fired. Um, he's back. And, uh, reminder, Shiten got fired. He's, he stole uh, tuna, uh, some, some kind of casserole out of the fridge. Didn't belong to him. Um, and look at Henry Hid the Hideous going after my great friend, Mentally Sinister. Look at Ken uh, taking it to Flash. He's not doing a bad job, and now he's hiding again. He needs to quit doing the turnbuckle high, okay? Just because it's two on two, does any minute they can literally go up to him like Mentally Sinister did and throw him off. It is a day, and I'm not paying for his hospital bills. And look at Frieza c going after Ken Chrysler. They're going to notice you up there, buddy. You're clearly out of your mind, and you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, and uh, Macau, he, he has experience from these Royal Rumbles, and Flash has been eliminated. I believe that was mentally sinister there. Um, yeah, and I, I'm surprised Flash got eliminated that quickly. Uh, Ken Chrysler is about to be next. It was nice knowing you, Ken. At least you made it to two. And not yet, Ken. <laughs> I mean, uh, Macau, I'm sorry. <laughs> You keep on calling me that, and you're going to be in big trouble, okay? And look at Henry the hit, uh, Hideous. Uh, nice slam on Frieza there. 
A lot of these competitors have impressed me. Joker has done a good job. The Heath Ledger one. Yeah, they have. Um, and Mikhail, you have you have definitely. I'm not. I'm not uh, sucking up to the boss here, but you have definitely made this channel better than 2K15. And look, they are DDT on my good buddy. And you're right. I have. I mean, 2K15, we had limited resources. What do you expect? 25 created characters. 25. Well, I mean, what are you supposed to do with that? We got 100 now. That's a big difference. It's 75 more characters. We got tons of creative options. And I'm hopefully, hopefully on 2K17, we get the story designer. And we'll, be, um, we'll have the cream of the crop there. If we can get that. And look at Mentally Sinister. He might have an elimination on the Joker. And yes, he does. Good job. And here comes uh, uh, Nemesis. One of the most dangerous ones. Him and Henry the Hideous. And Batman will also make his return. Yeah, um, those three men are definitely dangerous in this match. And uh, now Ken Chrysler. Look at him running around. Look at him running from Nemesis. And it didn't work. What? He's now he's running. How ridiculous! If you're gonna be in the money in the bank, you think you can run away from your problems and win the match? And look at Ken Chrysler. He, is he gonna do another turn? Oh my goodness! Henry the uh, Henry Hideous uh, threw out Frieza. Yeah, that was a very uh, powerful move by Henry the Hideous. And look here, uh, Ken's trying to get rid of him. Yeah, and look at Nemesis. He's got Mentally Sinister, I think. Mentally Sinister has been eliminated. Yes, and Nemesis is dangerous, uh, Macau. He is indeed. And look at Nemesis here. And, and look at Ken Chrysler. The double team. Yes, he said he was going to double team any opportunity he got. And look, he's doing what he said he was going to do. And look here. Look at the teamwork. And look, now he's trying to run, but it's not going to work, Ken. You're in there alone with Nemesis. Oh, you probably should have let them fight. And uh, uh, here comes Mr. Swagalicious. Um, oh, he changed his pants. And you have a little beef with him and uh, Mad Melissa, don't you? Yeah, they're, they're causing some problems, but uh, for now it's, it's on the down low. I'm causing some problems with my wife and some other superstars. Not with me, but for now it's 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 not a, a problem. But I'm afraid it will become a problem later on. And look at Nemesis just pushing Ken away, pushing him away. <laughs> yeah, and Ken Chrysler is definitely suffering here, Macau. He is. He is not up for this match. I'll tell you that. Look at Ken Chrysler. Oh, he's going to try to eliminate Nemesis. Look, look here. He couldn't even go for the elimination. Look at him running. Run, Ken, run. <laughs> yes, and uh, Ken Chrysler's in trouble. He's still in it, surprisingly. He's, he hasn't got an elimination besides help from Nemesis. And look at here. Ken Chrysler's going after Bobby Joe Warner. Um, which is not a fierce... Com Look at Ken going to work. Not doing bad against Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe's the biggest loser out of most of these people. Um, and here comes uh, Bobby... J uh, I mean, Ken Chrysler. Can he get Can he get the elimination? Uh-oh, McCall, look here! Look here! Ken Chrysler! Ken Chrysler got the elimination on Bobby Joe Warner! And Bobby Joe Warner's mad. He can get mad all he wants. <laughs> Indeed. Look at Mr. Swagalicious. The power. And here comes Batman. We're down to the final four. I think Ken's got it, Mikhail. He's going to prove you wrong. That's what he's going to do. Yeah, and look at Ken Chrysler trying to get rid of Batman here. This is uh, a surprise. Yeah, and we changed the Batman. I, I don't like the new one as good. No, uh, he's all right. Look at Ken Chrysler. Is is this a finisher? You don't need to be using finishers right now. Yeah, he used a finisher. Big mistake. Look at uh, Ken Chrysler now hiding again, running away from the fight. What is he trying to do? Nemesis trying to eliminate Mr. S and look at this is the dumbest move ever. And and Ken Chrysler's gonna pay for trying to attack. Nemesis trying to throw him out. 
This is the biggest mistake ever, Newson. Yes, it is. Look here. Oh, my goodness. Kid Chrysler has been eliminated. Yeah. I told him. He, t he told us all not to, um, that he wasn't going to go after Nemesis, and he did it anyway. Big mistake. He lost the match. Yes, it's over for Ken there. And he will not be going to Money in the Bank. It's going to be one of these three. Let me remind you all, you do not get a vote in this match. Um, however, you did get a, two votes for the other two matches, which we've got a lot of results. And, and we will tally up the vote soon. Indeed, and look at Nemesis. Um, definitely a fierce competitor in this match. And the double team on Swagalicious. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all later. Here comes Ken Chrysler, madder than ever. Hey, Ken, how are you? You know what? Be quiet, Macau. I don't want to hear your mouth. Look at Macau leaving. He can leave. Oh, how, how'd you like that match, Ken? It was a bunch of bull, Noose and Barafia. A bunch of bull. You know what? I, 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 and, I, and it's my fault. I will take the credit out. By the way, how about that elimination on Bobby Joe Warner? I got rid of him. How about that one? But And Henry the Hideous, me and Nemesis. But let, let me go, just go ahead and, and tell you. I'll, I'll own up to my mistakes. Uh, trying to attack Nemesis from behind was not the, the grandest idea of them all. And he is definitely going to win this match, I think. And he might get Batman out here. Batman's hanging on though. Wow, I mean, I thought I had, I thought I could cheap shot him. And look at Mr. Swagalicious. Wow, what a nice elimination on Batman. I cannot believe my eyes. And he might get Nemesis too. <laughs> I cannot believe this kid. If he if he eliminates Nemesis, I I I I won't. Be I I'll quit. I no, I won't quit. Go goodness, I better not say that. You better not say that because you never know what's going to happen tonight. But look at Nemesis. Definitely the best competitor um, of this match. Oh, I should have waited until he was on the uh, ropes and then helped some people. And I think it's over for Mr. Swagalicious. I think it's done. And Nemesis will go to Money in the Bank. At least I got beat by the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, I started out as one. If I would have started out as five, I would have won the match. I guarantee you. I would have eliminated Nemesis. But congrats to him. He won fair and square. Uh, and he's definitely going to be a nightmare for the other competitors. So far, four competitors. Jack Jugular, Nemesis, um, Curious George, and uh, who's the other one? Um, oh crap, I forgot. <laughs> it was Captain America again. Oh yeah, that's right, and Captain America. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. If you don't remember, Michael Myers um, recently joined the Bald Man's Bureau, and now he has Agent 47 with him, who will take on Blue Neck tonight. In a hell in a cell. I'm telling you. Um, and the goal is by these men to injure the Blue Knack. Because the Blue Knack will face Michael Myers at Money in the Bank. It will Now, I know a lot of you all wanted to see a bunch of Money in the Bank matches. But let me remind you all. The six-man Money in the Bank is probably going to take a lifetime. It's probably going to be one of the longest videos. And uh, I don't know how we're going to do it, honestly. But let me just go ahead and tell you, uh, if we're going to do the Money in the Bank, we, we can only do one other match. And that would be uh, Michael Myers versus Blue Knack. Now let me remind you also, um, Newsom, Blue Knack grew some hair and he refused to join the Bald Man's Bureau. Michael Myers said Neil and Blue Knack just grew a fro. Indeed, he did, I, and I like it on him. It looks, it looks very nice. Okay, and all, um, also, Newson, you just got a text, and who's that from? This is from our voting results for um, last week. Um, 
let me just go ahead and say uh, thank you to everyone that voted. We looked at every single thing. And right now it is about 7.33 here on the um, East Coast. So voting is over. So don't go back and vote or edit your vote um, if, if you're not happy with the results. Um, and, and also to anyone that votes on that video, it, it's too late now. Um, but let me just go ahead and say um, the people who only got one vote, Macau, Pineapple Blast, Rico Sanchez, um, Father Knows Kid, and Jason, they only got one vote, but they still got a vote. Um, for the fir um, first, um, first competition that uh, was between all of Macau's created people, we have a tie. What? A tie? Between who? Crimson Ninja. Okay, I can understand that. And Daniel the D. Say that again. Daniel the D. Are th what in the world? How did he tie with Crimson Ninja? He danced around the ring while Crimson Ninja eliminated everyone. So we have a tie? What are we going to do? We'll explain what we're, I, I think we should do. Because that is... We don't want to upset anyone by picking them picking it ourselves okay well I'm gonna just go ahead and say this whoever voted for Daniel the D you voted to make me mad and I know that's the only reason you voted for him whoever voted for Crimson Ninja use logic something that people that voted for Daniel the D should use you did it to make me angry <laughs> they probably did <laughs> and as but as for the other match um, we do have a winner. Uh, let me remind you all, Walker and Darth Maul did get two votes. And Freddy Fazbender is the winner. He will go to Money in the Bank. He got three votes. Okay, and I can understand why there. Now, what are we going to do about uh, Daniel the D and Crimson Ninja? Okay, I'm going to give the subscribers three choices here. You can either vote for who you want to be Money in the Bank, or you can vote... To have a match between these two. And look here, Ken. Look here. And oh, man, we haven't been paying attention. And Blue Neck just broke Agent 47 through the sale. Goodness gracious. The man's crazy. He's still mad that he doesn't have the world title. But you could blame him. Look here. DDT. Oh, my, oh, oh man. That was, that was right on the chairs. Goodness gracious. Um, here's how it's going to go. Um, you have three options here. You can vote for Daniel the D and, and be a Daniel the Doofus. Or you can vote for Crimson Ninja and have logic. Or you can vote for them two to be in a match, which would be completely fair. Now, Ken, I don't think that'd be completely fair. I think it would. The man needs to earn his spot. In order to get the money in the bank... A shot. He needs to go through the Crimson Ninja first. I'm suggesting that. Okay. So here's your th three options. You can vote for the D. You can vote for the Crimson. Or you can vote for the match. And whoever, whatever has the most votes, you will get that money in the bank. Uh, and that's, I think the match would be necessary. I think it's fair. Um, well, I don't think it's fair. Because the, the player will win. Whoever the player is. Well, we'll I, I mean, honestly, the player can be Daniel the D and he would still lose. So, well, honestly, uh, just vote on it, guys. And we'll see who will win. And, and we need to stop talking about this because, look, we are on top of the cell. And, oh, goodness gracious. This is where bones get broken. This is where Obamacare is the most necessary. When we are on top of the sale, that's when things get dangerous. And let me also remind you all that Michael Myers will face Blue Neck in a Hell in a Cell. That's if Blue Neck doesn't get destroyed tonight. And oh my goodness, uh, this is very dangerous. Uh, for me, a man afraid, petrified of heights, this is a, not a good sign. It is not a good sign at all. And look at uh, Agent 47. Oh, man. He's taking it to Blue Neck. They are on top of the sale. The sale is not approved by OSHA, which is the Occupational Safety Hazards Administration. Has not approved of this sale. 
people probably shouldn't be fighting on it. Um, but Macau doesn't care about his employees, obviously. Yeah, he don't care about you. <laughs> it, uh, apparently, he doesn't. He made me number one. He knew I could win if I was five. Um, and look at the blue neck. Agent 47. Oh, my goodness. What a move there. And this, this sale, I'm telling you, it is dangerous. And the blue neck is playing with fire. He is literally playing with fire. He's facing a great champion tonight. Uh, Agent 47 has won a couple championships. And Blue Neck is now targeting his prey, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going for a running move. Yes, and look here. Oh, no. The cell. There's a hole in the cell. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. This can go. This cell could break any second. And look at Agent 47. Oh, man. There's a little tiny hole, I believe, in the cell. And they better watch out. Yeah, and look there. There's another hole. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. And these two, they need... Someone's going to get badly hurt. That's what Michael Myers wants. And uh oh, look here. Oh, that didn't do enough damage, thank goodness. And Blue Neck is preparing for another running move. Those running moves are definitely dangerous on top of the cell. I, he's definitely sending a message to Michael Myers tonight. Um, uh oh, here we go. And look here. Blue Neck with the DDT. And oh, still no break on the cell, thank goodness. We got, and I'm telling you, Macau's going to have to pay for it. And look at the Blue Neck. This could be it. No, still. The cell is still intact, which is a very big surprise. Let me remind you all. Blue Neck with a nice move there. He's dominated this match so far. He's definitely sending a message to uh, uh, Michael Myers here. And the Bald Man's Bureau, they can't get here. So um, this has definitely been a fair fight. Uh, Agent 47 is a tough competitor, though. Let me just go ahead and say, and look here. Agent 47. Oh, we are having a fight on top of the cell. Look at here. Oh, my goodness. This cell is any second. It could break. And look here. It might break here again. Oh, man. And I think there's a, a big hole in the cell now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, and look here. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Agent 47 with a nice reversal. This might be over, ladies and gentlemen. And look here. Agent 47 is going for his finisher. Oh no, kid. This is bad for the blue neck. Oh, man. And Agent 47, any second in the Hell in a Cell, it could be over. And I think it's over here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, um, what? He, he didn't even get a one count. What in the world? Is this man invincible? <laughs> oh, I cannot believe this kid. And Agent 47's frustrated. I don't blame him. <laughs> Not even a one. He used resiliency there, which saved his life. Oh, my goodness. And look at the blue neck. He's mad now. Yes, and I'm telling you, that cell is dangerous. He needs to stay right here. He does. And the blue neck is definitely mad as can be that he fell through that cell. I don't blame him. I'd be kind of mad, too. And now the Blue Neck is going for a finisher. This could be over. And he is going to go for the pin right here, probably. And look, I think it's over. I don't think so, Ken. A, a, a kick out there. Two and three-fourths at the kick out there. Blue Neck is going to have to definitely try something different here. Look, he's going to go on the top rope. Look here. Wow. And he has done a pretty good job, Ken. He has. And what in the world was that? A glitch? And what is he doing? Has he lost his mind? Oh, my goodness. They're going back on the sale. My goodness. You wonder why health care is so high. This is why. Because of these loons. Someone's got... There's a hole already in the top of the sale. All you have to do is throw someone there. And it's all over. 
Yeah, and if Brunei gets thrown there again, uh, or 47, he could be over. And look at the blue deck here. And look here. Agent 47 has collapsed. Oh, man. What is the blue knight doing now? Oh, he's taking the safe way. The long way, though. And I think blue knight's got this. I, I think Agent 47 just got knocked out. And oh, my goodness. He's right back up. Wow. These men can take a fall. But look here, blue knight. This is going to finish it off right here. And I hope Michael Myers is watching. I hope he's watching. Because this could be his future. Come money in the bank. And Blue Neck is victorious again. Yes, and but Michael Myers is going to be a tougher fight. Make sure you tell us who you think will win money in the bank. I thought it was all over for um, uh, Blue Neck right there. Yeah, I did too. Make sure you vote. You think Daniel the D should go to the money in the bank? You think Crimson Ninja should go? Or do you think they should have a match to determine who goes? You decide. Make sure you vote on that. Yeah, and also shout out to Roger Dodger. He wanted a shout out. I'm sorry we waited till the end, but there you go, Roger Dodger. Shout outs to Roger Dodger. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned. There is more to come. Yeah.